in life, you find out you get the most when you give back. I saw a restaurant that was new in South Huntington Beach. It's in the same shopping center as Lucci's, which after 56 years of service to our community is gonna close its doors um, from some, some dispute. I think they close on the 22nd or the 26th. Make sure you shop there and you know show them all the love and support before uh, you know it's their last day. Um, my name is Baron Bershaw and I am a Huntington Beach local, an Edison Charger for life, and today we're gonna go check out the Taste Cantina by Bonita. Like I said, it's in the Lucci's parking lot at 8863 Adams. Let's go meet the owner, see some dishes, catch the vibe. Let's go check it out. Uh, popular dishes? Uh, we can go off many of there's a lot of popular ones but personally I do uh, always recommend street corn is one of my favorite ones. Amazing. Uh, the ahi stock is really 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 good and the pork belly poppers those are one of my best dishes for our store. Oh, okay well uh, so you're the owner of Taste Cantina. What's your name? Sergio. Sergio. Awesome, Sergio. Um, how did you choose uh, this rest, like this restaurant location? Okay, uh, we try to bring here at Huntington Beach uh, some uh, kind of different stuff, based on uh, Mexican food. Okay. Right. Uh, everybody have uh, authentic Mexican food around here, so we try to uh, change that concept a little. Yep. You know. So. Uh, you were just telling me about how you guys uh, have awesome street corn, pork belly, and um, agua. What, what was it? Aguas carnitas. The carnitas, yeah. Okay. But we, we got a lot of stuff. We got uh, you know chile relleno. We got uh, four belly poppers. Okay. Uh, the, the the one that I told you is uh, sweet and spicy. Yep. Really recommend recommended. Okay. Highly recommend it. Perfect. So, well, I, I'd like to have the pork belly poppers and the street corn. Perfect. And maybe a taco. I'll do it for you. All right. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Some of the, the best ingredients that we know uh, from Mexico. For example, we know as a fact that the agave is uh, the main uh, ingredient for the tequila, right? So we pick that and also the pork uh, to infuse that on the chipotle sauce. Awesome. All right, and that's the inspiration of that. We're making ingredients from any region of uh, Mexico and bring it into a plate. You, in Mexico, you, you can see a street corn everywhere, but not with uh, like French ingredients, like a jolly, right. right? So different kind of cheese, and um, also a different uh, kind of uh, uh, tasting, you know? Amazing. It is, right? It is, it's amazing. Well, you know, I'm gonna try the pork belly on that. Yeah. Probably what you think. Oh, it's it's good. spicy, sweet, but at the same time. All of those things. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're a you're a master. <laughs> Thank you, bro. 
uh, for about 20 years. 20 years? Yeah, starting as a crook, you know? Yep. Well, since from the battle. Okay. This was with the crook on the lab, and then I came back to Mexico. I started here, but I came back to study gastronomy. Is this your first restaurant? No, I, I started at Mexico with my first restaurant, but I call it Kids. Oh. And we try to, yeah, close for good. And then uh, we take this as an opportunity to, to open a restaurant. My wife is always, uh, you know, give me those push that, hey, don't, don't, don't give up. Right. And try this, yeah. Hey, well, I'm glad you did. Your food's amazing. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for having thank me. Thank you so much.